Hey, 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 Virgo, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your reading. So this is going to be a reading for my Virgos. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Virgo. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, information can be found in the description box below. Make sure that you're clicking on the link in the description box if you are interested, Virgo, as there are many tarot card scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever and ever here on YouTube. All right, Virgo, your overall energy is the five of wands here. The Jaggered Union. So, let me see. You got the Nine of Swords, the Five of Cups, the Chariots, and the Karmic Soul Tribe, the Family. I feel like there's going to be people coming in, wanting a chance at love with you. I feel like some from the past, some from the present. And I say some because, yes, it can be not one, not two, not three, up to four people. This may make you anxious. This may make you, I don't know, fearful, maybe because of the, the past people, because the Five of Cups is here. Now, some of these people could be from the dis a distance here with the chariot. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Temperance, the hangman, and the sun. Okay, well, one of these people is a past life soulmate that's going to make you very happy. I feel like that is going to be your choice. They could be a Leo. Temperance is Sagittarius. Energy, the find of balance. And the hangman, the suspended monkey. You may take a minute to really think about your options because I do feel that you could be dwelling on the past a little bit because of this past person that's coming back. You may be thinking about the negative aspects of the relationship and sort of getting that, I, I want to say, depressed state for a minute. You will get yourself out of this, Virgo. And when you, when you lift yourself out of this, I feel that you're going to begin to see different perspectives about all of the people involved, not just the past person. So it's like you've got anxiety, depression. It's, it's like they go back and forth for a minute. But you find the balance. You find that, that peaceful place within because you're like, okay, I want to create a union here. I want to create a, a love, a life. And this past person may be a karmic as well. So, oh, let me get a kipper on this five of wands. Yeah, lovers, you're going to have to choose. So somebody could be a Gemini here. That's possible. But I'm telling you, you got like four. That's what I'm feeling. Four. Now they're saying it could be more. For some of you, it could be more. And this is also contributing to the, to the anxiety and the fear. Tell me about the um, this anxiety here. The Nine of Swords. The Queen of Swords, because it's the decision that you have to make. Yep. All right. So you have the Seven of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Moon card. Yeah, you don't you don't see this coming, and I feel like what what's most surprising is this past person. You don't see that coming at all. So you're looking at your options and. <laughs> You want to look past what is. It's like you're not taking everybody at face value. That's what I'm getting. 
A test of faith. Test of faith. All right, that's what I'm hearing. A test of faith. They're not saying anything else. Test of faith. Maybe this is what one of the things you'll be thinking. Is this a test of my faith? And it has to do with like love in general. A test of faith in love. Community. You may be thinking about what others may think about whatever choice you're making. Yeah, concern. So you are concerned about what other people think. And they're saying, don't be. That's what's getting in the way. That's what's confusing you with these options here. That's also contributing to this anxiety, fear, and depression. All right. Thank you. All right. So tell me about this five of cups. Tell me about the five of cups. So you get the two of pentacles, judgment, and the fool. Yeah. Who do you take a leap of faith on? You, you may narrow it down to a couple of people and then date them more heavily, then decide that's possible. Or this is just saying you're making a decision about all of them. But first, I feel like there is sort of this, oh, they're saying awakening to the abundance of your soul. So it is a reconciliation of the soul, but it's awakening to the abundance of your soul. You don't understand the magnitude of this decision. Wow. Okay. I wonder, give me a kipper on this house. You're taking this seriously because this has to do with your stability. But as they say that, you don't, you don't understand the magnitude of this decision. What I'm getting is almost like twin flamey, almost like there's a mission you need to get on. There's a path you need to get on with this person. Now, it doesn't mean that it has to be a twin. It can be a high-level soulmate. But I don't know. It seems, uh, I want to say urgent. But they're saying don't rush. But it is urgent. That, <laughs> okay, how can they not rush if it's urgent? Hmm. They're not saying. Don't. Okay. Well, then you shouldn't have said that. I'm saying, why did you tell them that? Because I was just going to say, don't have it in your mind when you're making this decision. About how can you not now? All right. They're saying you will for forget. You'll forget. Okay. All right. So tell me about this karmic soul tribe. Huh. The extra card. This is coming up a lot for people. The high priestess and L expansion, the shedding snake. Ooh, your expansion depends on it. That's what they just said. I, that's why they're saying the abundance of your soul. There's a huge expansion that's going to come along with this person. Okay. You need to use your intuition, Virgo, because what's hidden from you is the magnitude of this. What's this? Okay. Okay. All right, they're saying scattered energy with this, and it must be focused upon. It must be balanced in order to connect with your intuition here. That's what they're saying. Okay. Wow. Oh, 
Wow, great fortune. And, and there's that abundance again. The abundance of your soul, it does include like abundance. I feel like these are your gifts. When you get on your path, it's like you're just going to attract this. Okay, what's your advice, Virgo? What's your advice? One more. Wow. Wow. We have the Emperor. We have the King of Swords, the Father of the Knights, and we have the Hierophant. Wow. Higher spiritual evolution. They're saying connect to Source. They're saying you need to take control of your vibration here because your spiritual evolution is of the utmost importance here. So your choice in partners is paramount, is paramount, Virgo. And you need to feel into this. You need to be in this high priestess energy. Male or female does not matter. You need to be in this um, high priestess energy. You need to make that decision and stand in that power. And know that this is for your higher spiritual evolution and their higher spiritual evolution and humanities. Just saying, no pressure. But they're making me feel this, this, this urgency. Ooh, false person. You need to be able to pick this out. You need a test of faith. They're saying that again. Is this the past person? Okay. The false person they're saying is the past person. In case you're wondering. You need to have faith in your intuition. You need to have faith in moving forward. Hmm. That's deep Virgo. All right. Advice for Virgo. That's the second time today. I saw it. One, two, two, two. Advice for Virgo. Advice. Advice for Virgo and the spread. Advice for Virgo and the spread here. What is it? Recharge. When the pace of life becomes too hectic, know to slow down, be mindful, and go with the flow. That's that scattered energy. Okay? So don't forget to recharge. Don't forget to do an energy check at least once a day. Okay. All right, Virgo. I hope that helps. Please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading. That way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs. Info's down in the description box below. Make sure that you're clicking on the link in the description box if you are interested, Virgo, as there are many tarot card scammers about the community. And know that you will always see my face in a reading as well as receive an unlisted link that you can utilize forever and ever here on YouTube. So you have a wonderful day and I will catch you on the flip side on the dailies. Namaste.